Welcome to this video on Python. It's an absolute beginner's introduction to the Python programming language. Some of the things we're going to look at are what is Python? Who created it? Most importantly, what can you actually do with it? And we're going to show you a couple of simple tips and tricks just to get started. So Python, at the moment, all you need to know is it's a powerful programming language. It is comparable to Perl, Ruby, C, Java. Obviously, it's very different but it is an absolutely fantastic, powerful, simple, elegant programming language. This, this guy created it, interesting person to look up, created it over Christmas because he was bored, and obviously Python has gone on to be an incredibly powerful language, which has changed the world in many ways. So what can you do with it? Who uses Python? Well, to name a few, you have YouTube, you have Facebook, Google, Dropbox, you can make social media sites, you can make YouTube type applications, you can make entire games, virtual reality, machine learning, data analytics, and the list really goes on. You can download Python 3 at home, which is recommended for advanced users. If you're just learning, you can obviously use an online browser to code, such as Repl.it or Trinket. This shows you a little bit of how to, to do it from home, but you can come back to that. The useful thing to remember is when you're writing a program, any program comprised is comprised of three things. You have input, processing, and output. That is how really we work. We have things going into us, we process stuff, and it comes out. A few words that you want to remember in this introduction series are function, call, variable, indentation, and print. And I'm just going to point out some of these things to you so that when you see them in this first series, you'll be able to answer some of the questions. To begin with, that is a function. So whenever you see something begin with a def, and you see a name, it could be anything, def main, that is a function. So in this program, we have one function. And you'll notice that everything inside a function is indented. You can see the print statement has been indented by about four spaces can use the tab. So that is indentation. You can also see that indentation occurs inside an if statement. The print statement is indented. A variable. Name is a variable and a variable is simply something which stores a value. So in this case name, which is a variable, is storing the user's name. Age is also a variable and it's simply storing the the user's age. Finally, you have a, a call, a function call. Now we have a function called the main function here, but it's not going to actually run or do anything unless we call it. So let's have a look at some of the things we've just learned. That's a function. We are defining a function. In this case, we're defining the main function. There, down at the bottom, you're calling the main function. You'll notice that we have two variables in this program, name and age. And as I said, variables can be thought of as storage boxes that hold or store values in them. Indentation is very important in Python. It actually has a meaning. So inside a function, you always have to indent every command. And inside an if statement, you also indent. The print command you're going to be using a lot. Print doesn't mean you're actually printing it to a printer, but it just means you're printing output to the screen. So when you write print hi or print hello world, it's actually just going to print the text or output the text to the screen. So let's have a look at a simple program and then you can get started on the tasks. So here I'm creating a little function called main. I could call this anything. I could call it main menu. But you always do it the same way with open brackets, close brackets and a colon. It automatically indents everything for you. So I could write this is the main menu and notice that the print statement is indented. If you tried to play it there it would say bad input because it does need to be indented. As you'll see, nothing is actually happening when I play this program. And that's because I haven't called 
the program. Now, the name of this function is main menu. This is the main menu. In any given program, you can declare variables such as x is equal to 3. I'm declaring a variable called y and giving it the value 5. And then you can print. You can do things with these variables such as that. And that should give us 8. You can also have variables for string input, which we're going to look at in detail later, such as Ruth. And then I could print the variable, and it would print whatever the value was for name. There are two types of errors which you might come across. One of them is a syntax error. So if I tried to write print, it would say print is not defined. This is a syntax error. You have to get it right, so it's lowercase print. You might come across other errors, such as forgetting to have a colon, and it usually does tell you where you're making the mistake. The most common type of error will be an indentation error. So if you try to run the program, it says line 2 has a problem, and you can see the problem is indentation. That's it for now. See if you can solve the tasks, go through to the challenge, and do feel free to use the internet and refer back to this video.